today is a very busy day. It's also a very big day because today we are exactly five weeks and five days out. So today is our six week out check-in. Technically we're slightly under six weeks out, but uh, we're checking in with Alex this morning, sending over check-in photos. So I'm gonna show you guys kind of the process for that. But other than that, it's gonna be a busy day. It's a rainy day so far. It's 7.30 a.m. right now. I'm gonna grab coffee. Get some water in my system, weighed in at 236.4 pounds this morning, which is the lowest that we have been this entire prep so far. Yesterday, I weighed in at the lowest, which was 237. So we are, you know, losing weight rapidly at this point, and we need to. Let's check in 236.4 pounds, five weeks and five days out from our first show of the season. Time to go check in with Alex. Let's take some check-in photos, send these things over to him. So I got a ring light. Actually, my parents brought it down from home. Old ring light from college. For check-in photos, the lighting is so variable when you're trying to just use the natural lighting because look at this outside, right? It's literally just a rainy 7.30 a.m. day. There's not much lighting coming through at all. These check-in photos compared to a day where it's bright and sunny, tons of golden light coming in, um, it's gonna look completely different. So to keep things kind of consistent from check-in photo to check-in photo, we're just going to use the ring light uh, every single week kind of going forward so things stay consistent in the lighting that we're using. We can see a good representation of the physique. That is the current physique update at 236.4 pounds body weight. Lowest that we've been this prep, we have just under six weeks. We're gonna send these photos and our weights over to Alex right now, get that sent over. Uh, and then I'll kind of like go through the feedback that he has. This is how we were looking. Like, look at that. We still look like solid, like we have decent shape, but a whole lot more body fat, looking very watery and full. Um, and even like in the face, look at the face right here. Um, and here's like week two as well. But compared to now, huge, huge change in the back, the abs, obliques, literally everything, shoulders coming out a lot more. So I think we're making very good progress. This is um, like about 20 pounds down from the very start. Alex's check-in response came back. Let's see what he has to say. Good morning, brother. So first, I appreciate you getting me over your check-in. I do want to make sure that we don't get out of the habit of still sending a video, at least a brief explanation as we get closer and closer. We're going to get aggressive, all right, on these low days, but we're also going to implement high days. We're going to have another check-in on Thursday that's going to give me another touch point to see whether or not I want to continue on this trend or make any adjustments, give more food, yada, yada, yada. Again, brother, I appreciate Appreciate you. You look phenomenal, man. You can drag your pictures over. I was looking on the other screen, but you look absolutely phenomenal. Your back is coming in more and more detailed. A thickness in your back is what's impressing me. And the midsection a tightness is, is coming in as well, keeping fullness through the chest, which is something we didn't do last prep or we didn't have the tissue better yet last prep. So great job. All right. So updates from coach for six weeks out. Uh, we are moving into low carb days and high carb days. So five of those days each week are going to be low carb days um, and two are going to be high. So um, on all the low carb days, we're gonna be eating about 2,300 calories, which is another calorie reduction. The past week or two weeks, we've been at about 2,500 calories. Um, and now we're moving into 2,300 calories on those low carb days, which is low for me. That is very, very low for me. I'm not gonna lie. Um, those high carb days, it looks to be about 2,700-ish calories um, with a, a decent amount more carbs in there. So that's just twice per week. The rest of the days, we're gonna have to push. We're gonna have to grind a little bit to get through these 2,300 calorie days. So that's the updates. Um, sounds like things are looking pretty good from his perspective. Again, um, I understand we gotta get aggressive, which is why we're dropping things to 2,300 calories. So excited to see some rapid changes in the next week or two weeks here, man. Now the Evolve Training Systems mug, we're gonna do another, doing another cup of coffee and then we are getting to work. Second cup of coffee on the day and it is 8 a.m. right now. It's a Monday, so we have client check-ins today. So we have about 10 
check-ins to go through right now. Um, we have a meeting with my business mentor today, uh, which I'm really excited for as well. A few moments later. So today we have a leg day. Uh, we're doing two leg days per week right now, which is, I might've already explained this before, but this is completely different than what I've done on any other past prep. Basically the past two preps that I did, I just did power lifting as my leg days basically so i just did squat and deadlift as my leg days which isn't the worst idea in the world i mean i i held on to a decent amount of strength probably held on to some leg mass i would say that giving some like direct hypertrophy work this year two times per week is going to be a huge huge change for my legs uh during the duration of this prep i'm actually really excited to see how it goes you know for being five weeks out and down like 24 pounds. I feel like I've held on to a good amount of leg mass so far. It's just like a matter of these last several weeks where, where the deficit and the cut in general is gonna get very difficult. We have to be able to push ourselves through these these hypertrophy workouts to basically force our body to hang on to that leg mass. So it usually seems like these like compound movements, even if it's like a bench press, for example, today would be like my, my compound movements for leg days um like pendulum squat hack squat etc that seems to be like where you lose a lot of strength you know uh or not even a lot of strength but you notice the reduction in strength a contest prep right so it's a matter of like being able to push even though your calories are low a matter of like being able to to push your legs to a certain level even when you feel like shit and you just can't you just don't like have the energy to push it on leg day because leg day is hard to begin with then put in like limited calories, um, you know, low body fat, all of a sudden it gets harder and harder and harder, right? So it's definitely gonna be like these last like five, six weeks here leading up to the show that like really define, obviously defines the prep in general, but it's gonna define kind of how my legs end up looking by the end of this thing. So um, today we have a hamstring focused leg day. So we're gonna hit training the hamstrings in like the lengthened position, probably doing a lying hamstring curl. We're probably gonna do some sort of RDL I've been doing the hammer strength machine um, for my RDLs lately and I've really been liking it so we're probably going to do that. Um, add in some quad work, probably pendulum squats, go super heavy on that and then also do probably hit four or five exercises. We're going to throw some bicep in there as well um, just because my biceps need a little bit of work especially during this prep. Well, I was only hitting them like one time a week so I'm adding it in um, kind of on this random leg day here. But yeah, All right, we just got to the gym. We're going to get some posing in with our Evolve clients. Mr. Hershey. What up? <laughs> so he's been with us for what, almost six months now, technically. Four or five months, something like that. And he's cutting down for a show, actually doing the same exact show as me. Um, and we're gonna work in some posing today for men's physique, which men's physique posing, it's like, it's very simple, but it's also super technical as well. Yeah, let's, let's, let's run through kind of where. take you down on stage that's all I can say. <laughs> he's been crushing it the past couple of months been prepping for how many weeks now have you been prepping like 12 16. well like the actual prep itself oh, yeah, though like for like 12. he's been prepping for like 12 weeks already for this um i'll pop his transformation up on the screen looks insane um but other than that five weeks and four days till we're competing at the same exact show excited for that and uh let's go hit some legs
caps off the leg workout for today. Um, just did two to three sets of everything. Some things I did three sets, they just felt like they needed a little bit more. Uh, but everything taking to failure, everything taking to partial reps until I absolutely can't even move the weight from the starting position. So good solid leg workout. These things get tough, man. So far, like I said, keeping up the strength, everything feels strong, everything feels good. I feel like I just need to push a little bit harder to maintain the strength right now. Um, whew. Whew. Good freaking leg workout. Let's go home, recover, eat, a little bit of posing. Um, legs, a little tiny bit, little tiny bit of definition coming in. So that is exciting to see. Usually my legs just like some, look like some big meat sticks, but we have some cuts slowly starting to come in. Came back from the gym to some new goodies that Allie got me, brought home. She, she was at Whole Foods, she's like, you need anything? I'm like, might need like this and this, whatever. She brings home a bunch of stuff and she cooked me a meal too. So she literally cooked me some potatoes, some beef. Boom, that is just like, you understand like that's like actually a large weight off my shoulders coming home. Dinner's already made, like on prep, like you do so much cooking, so much cleaning, so much eating, you're like, someone does something for you like that? That's big, right? Someone has to feed ya. Ali got me some mild buffalo sauce, which is practically zero calorie. She got me some of these uh, mild banana pepper rings. Five calories for a serving of these, so I could just throw them on any meal and just make them taste like significantly better for virtually no calories as well. Japanese barbecue and the Cuban blend. These Kinder's ones are really, really good. I've used the Buttery Steakhouse. I used one, it was like just called The Blend. Did you see that one, Ali? These seasonings are gonna come in clutch. These are like some little sample. Zero calorie, of course, tastes amazing. Um, and of course, she got some yellow mustard, zero calorie. Organic, of course, from Whole Foods. And then, um, a prep specialty, a prep, prep hack, the dill pickle spears. These, I had one, I'm not gonna lie, some of, one of the best pickles I ever had, and I'm a big pickle guy, so. A few moments later. Wrapping up our last 15 minutes of our cardio session today. Um, literally did half of it before in the gym. It's gonna finish it after legs, but honestly, I was just feeling kinda dead. I, uh, you know, did half my cardio, disimposing with my clients. Uh, then I hit a whole leg workout. And then after that, I was just like, I need some food. So I came home, got a little meal in, and this isn't the worst thing in the world, just finishing up 15 minutes of cardio. So yeah, really not that bad, honestly. Heart rate's kind of spiking a little high right now, but uh, it's all good, man. More calories burned. We are... Uh, effectively losing weight like rapidly these past two three weeks um it's been really really cool to see so whew. let's wrap this up and i want to finish off this video with a little talk kind of about what's going on with this prep um kind of the plan as well as what to expect for myself what to expect uh, for you guys to see these next couple of weeks because it's gonna get crazy and I'm excited to hopefully, you know, push myself to a level I've never been before. And, you know, obviously with that being said, take my physique to a level it's never been before. Um, and it'll be, you know, really crazy looking back on physiques from 2022, 2021, even my physique back in uh, 2018 when I first competed. Um, I just really think the progress that we're stacking year after year after year is is working it's been effective and i think this this year is going to be different i have a really good feeling about it so did an extra minute but that wraps up cardio tonight easy see it's not even too bad when you gotta do 30 minutes of cardio every single day at least i'm not doing an hour honestly i got my client doing an hour of cardio every single day, which I'm not gonna lie, is kind of brutal. It is kind of brutal, but it's prep and you gotta do what you gotta do. If Alex gave me an hour, you know I would be in this in this gym 
doing an hour of cardio. You know we'd be getting it done. Either way, getting it done every single day. 30 minutes, done baby.